Good morning, TNT. Welcome to A Cup of Joe. Joel Villafano with you. Thank God it's Friday. It's Foodie Friday. And this season on A Cup of Joe, we are taking you on a Foodie Friday Road Show. That's right, a Foodie Friday Road Show. Every Friday, we'll be at a different restaurant sampling some of the best foods in TNT. We're introducing a new segment on Foodie Friday simply called Joel Eats. That's right, I'm going to be having more fun on a Friday. So you've got to join us for that road trip every Friday on A Cup of Joe. But first, here's what's coming up inside the cup this morning. We share a cup with the breakout artist for 2015, Second Star. He's the son of a merchant. He's going to be here with us and uh, we're going to find out a little bit about his story. One of our Generation Next artists right here on A Cup of Joe. Then, it's all about Joel Eats. That's right, I'm going to be sampling some fantastic dishes this morning at Show Cafe. Join me inside. So I'm looking for all my friends Dem 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 Cause you know we can't see problem Dem 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 And we come out to set the trend Dem 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 Cup of show they cause the problem Dem 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 Right Magic partner Right Find you That's what you call flambe right? Yep flambe and that's what you call flambe And that's what you call flambe and that's what you call flambe One morning, Peter walked out to find every flower that he never stopped to notice, every sunrise that he never watched, every football match he forgot to play with his son, and arrived at the cafe to find every conversation he never had with his father. And it was only then that Peter finally decided to wake up. Wake up to life. Nescafe. Nestle. Good food, good life. It's really one bank, it can depend on friendly service every day. It's really one standard of treating you like you deserve to be. Yeah. Republic is only the best to you. We get personal attention, so explain for your inspection. All right, folks, let's get this show on the road. Let me wish each and every one a happy Easter. It's Good Friday, it's Foodie Friday. Synchronized so well here on our first week of season four here on A Cup of Joe. We're about to share a cup with a young man that literally has lit up the soccer airwaves over the last year or two at least. Um, we'll find out how long he's been involved because he is the son of one of our greats, Merchant. That's right. I'm talking about Second Star, recently crowned uh, the breakout artist of 2015 by the International Soka Monarch. I'm talking about Second Star. He is uh, with us this morning. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for being Thank here. Thank you very much for having me here. I, I, I first need to find out from you, because it's a very, very serious, serious question. Why Second Star and not First Star? Well, God first. Well, it's a simple analogy, right? Um, yeah, when because you put pieces, I don't know if I'm a fan behind the name. Um, second star is me paying respect to all things that are more important than me. So long as a man understands that he's not the most important thing in life, then he will always be able to do good. He'll always understand there are things more important than you. So I take a lot of pride in doing charity and this kind of stuff. As well as God first, every man comes after that. As well as is a paying respect to my father who was there before me, who has had a legacy before me, who's part or paved the way for me to come here today. So, second star is just the name. And then, the, the spelling is just the Trini pronunciation of the word second. Second, yeah, yeah. S-E-K-O-N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And star is from the nest of my name, the N-E-S-T here. Nesta. My father named after Bob Marley. Right. So, it's just the S-T here. Nest of yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was deep, boy. I didn't expect that, that depth there. Yeah, oh, that, that, was, that, was that was deep, that was deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You leave your ass speechless, you know. I think we gotta stop the interview there for a little bit. No, man. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Excellent. No, no, no. So yeah. that was the thought process. No, I mean, serious that. thought went into. Yeah, you don't think? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, when you adopt an identity, you need to stand for something. I mean, yeah. people are going to hear the music, but eventually, when they get into the music and start mm-hmm. to look at the character, you need to represent something. I'm not going to say I'm a pinnacle of positivity, but at the end of the day, I need to be, at least, that should be what I will always strive to be. Mm-hmm. So, hence the name Second Star. Second Star, you. You recently were crowned a few weeks ago. You were crowned with that the breakout artist of the year. First, let me tell me what that meant to you personally. Um, to me, it had a different meaning to all the other titles and all other accolades that I've had. In that, this is not a panel of seven. This is TNT and the world by extension saying, "All right, you are now going to be given the opportunity to prove to us." that you can potentially be great because we have noticed and we give you this chance now you break out now proof that it was worth it because mm-hmm. the people had to send their text which cost two dollars plus per text mm-hmm. people had to take time out of the day and go up on facebook people had to take time out of the day to vote on ford's page carrie's page on slam on double point five page so it took a lot of people's time and you must never just watch people's time and say take it for granted. Yeah. If a man takes that, you need to show. It's about the fans. Yes, that is a, that is a people's title. So yeah. in fact, I got it. I didn't even expect to get it. I yeah. got the, I mean, I was in final and all that stuff, but I was just going with it. I wasn't really taking it all. And I was heading home and I heard it on radio that you won it, but it didn't register it. I was, what registered first was that you fact that Ola won. And then after, I was like, wait now, I won. Hey, that's cool. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. No. That, that was my reaction. No, no, you, you spoke about your father, and of course, we're going to speak about him in a bit because obviously, he has an important role to play in your life. Yes, but very much so. when you recognized that you won the Breakout Artist of the Year, and I believe the prize was a, one of the big fancy Ford Rangers. Yeah, Ford Ranger. Ooh, Ford Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. made the decision to tell the fine folks there that you don't want a Ford Ranger because you want to donate the car to your mother? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it all goes with the name. Um, my mother has been behind me mm-hmm. to her fullest capacity. She has always tried. She may not have understood, but the effort has and will always be there. Mm-hmm. And they, I mean, yes, I could take a Ford Ranger and bling and all those stuff, but it have more important things than that. In that, if I give my mother that, at least I know she will always know no matter what happens between me and her i should always have something to say well at least i know my son really loved me even if you fall at the end of the day she will always understand that that's my way of saying thanks it was a symbol yes yeah, it's it a symbol, of, a symbol of, 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 of gratitude yeah, yeah gratitude yeah, for all yeah. the hard work or everything that you have tried successful and unsuccessful is just appreciated of all the efforts mm-hmm, mm-hmm. tell me about that now um, um when i went into ford they were most excited about it. I mean, they didn't really, to the point where it was so genuine, to the point where all the perks, they didn't even publicize, and I'm not going to publicize, but all the perks that she's getting. Right. So it's a full focus. My mother will have it, and, and you know, I might. Medical drive. Right? Yeah, I mean, I want to pay the insurance, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, might get, I might get to be in it, you know, yeah, but yeah, I had to pay insurance, yeah. and anything else it, it, wrong. It, it, you, see, you see, Nesta, that, that is so, I suppose, not... Uh, unlike the youth of the day, um, you literally put yourself in the background. You put your mother first. You put your, you know, that that is. I mean, did that that, come, that, that was an automatic decision in your mind. Yeah, it was natural. It was like yeah. that to me. That was that went without saying. Right. I mean, when he factors is he man, it was going to be a manual ranger as well. Right. So I said, you know what, my mother is too old to go on a um, shift gears. Yeah, shift gears. Yeah. I mean, the clutch nice and easy and stuff. Like, trust me, I was. So you drive the Ford Ranger? No, I drive it. I sit in it. And I drive it. one of yeah. it. I tell you, I was, I was here. Yeah. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Fully loaded focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. All right. I, 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 I mean, when I, when I read that a few weeks ago, I mean, it did take me back. I said, wow, this young man obviously has uh, a different head on his shoulder. Um, and, and I want to talk now about your music because uh, you, you've, you've jumped out onto the scene, two big hits, um, 
maximum, fat to the maximum. Uh, yes. That's right, right. Fat to the maximum. Fat to the maximum. I love that one. And uh, you are the best talking. Uh, yes. Yeah, you are the best. I mean, um, this that, was, those those two songs were your breakout songs. No, the song that I you came my first hit in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, but it just happened in such a short space of time. Right. There's a song on the June bomb rhythm that was going um, yeah, but that and all of them, and that's why I want you work it, girl, work it, work. Yes, I was you that guy. That, but people didn't know that. No. But that's come straight from Barbados and crop over. I had about seven songs playing consistently across right, it. Right. And I wrote about fifteen songs across there. So like that was the one song that came back to TNT and that started off. And then after came the can and then Maximum and then we, we had a slew of other songs within the mix. So I mean within almost every block of soca you would have heard me this season. Right. Um and but a lot of people were not capable of identifying who I am who or I who am. to sing that song. That's one of the purposes of this segment. Yes. Um is that we wanted we we, we have a generation next artist that okay. we, we're calling so you're part of that series that we're doing oh, this, this you, year as, as part of soka's generation next um i want to talk much more with you um but of course so we are going to a short break and i want to i really want to get your father's input in your life um so i want to take you back there as, as a young man, um, I know Calypso would have obviously had a big role to play if in your life. Sing, if huh? you listen to the way I sing, you yeah. know Calypso. It's Calypso, Calypso. Yes. So we have a little surprise to you, just, just before we go to break. Hello. Hello. Garlic pork belly. Enjoy. Garlic pork belly, courtesy show cafe. We're Thank at show cafe. Garlic pork. Yeah, you're a pork man? Of course I want a piece of pork. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming right back. Garlic pork belly for this looks second good. star. This looks really good, looks, looks good. Wow. Uh, I will eat in a little bit a little later in the show, but we take a pork. short break <laughs> when we come back more with second star. If happiness were a sound, what would it be? If happiness were a color, what would be its hues? If happiness were a face, what would it look like? If happiness were a place, where would it be? NGC, the energy of human potential. With over 30 sensational colours, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover gives you twice the coverage, twice as fast as any other brand. For over 90 years, we've been giving people the power to change. Cause we fat it to the maximo. We go out and money go, tell them that we fat it to the maximo. Wishing it will never know, lad. So I'm looking for all my friends, them, 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 them. Can you know we can't see from them, 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 them. And we come out to set the trend, them, 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 them. Couple show they can't see from them, 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 them. Your singing voice and your speaking voice is two entirely different voices. Well, I guess that, <laughs> that's true. Then, that's true. Then. That's true. Then. Yeah, that's true. Then. All right. So before we get into the crux of it, I just want to get some quick foodie facts. We have just about five or six fun food facts questions. This is Foodie Fridays. Okay. So I know nothing of food. You know nothing of food. Right. That's right. But first I, question. First question. Do you cook? No. You don't cook. What's your favorite dish that you like to eat? Roti. Roti. What's your favorite? Meal of the day: breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, dinner. You prefer dinner. Dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. 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 What's your favorite junk food? Favorite junk food? Yeah. Um, in Trinidad they call it a boxer then, but um, I will speak of KFC. <laughs> um, Royal Castle as well. Fried, right. fried, 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 fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> when you return home, when you travel and you return home, what was the first thing you want to eat? You feel for? Um, whatever my mother cooked. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing. Makes sense. Is there any food that you absolutely don't like? And, and strangely enough, my mother makes very good pepper. Like, yeah. everybody loves her pepper. Like, right. people pee for her pepper. But right. I just can't eat you're not pepper. Pe you're not pepper mode. Mm -mm, yeah, but yeah. everybody loves her pepper. Right, so right. shout out, mommy. Right. right. Um, what, if you had to sit down with someone for dinner, 
who you had to sit with? Oh, well, like a person of yeah, repute, uh, uh, somebody that you would want to engage and, and sit and have dinner with. I've been thought about this, you know, but there's so much. Um, my favorite, well, you know, some of my favorite footballers, Filippo Inzaghi, no longer plays. Right. So probably on on a wing, it would be it would be Filippo Inzaghi. Filippo Inzaghi. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a football fan. Um, I was an AC Milan fan when I was back in school days, so that's why I stuck on those in that right. area that much. Right. But right. I mean, a lot of things that I apply to my life, I learned from watching how. I won't say it's a it's a long conversation, so I don't know if you want to go into it right now. But yes, the Filipino Zagi. You would have grown up second star under your father. I, I would have I suspect that you would have been exposed from music. From yes, very age. much. Yeah, I lived music. Yeah. Yeah, I lived music all my life. That's mm -hmm. all I know. So, I mean, the upbringing that my father gave me is one of. I have an appreciation and a further understanding for culture because I came up in the Calypso tent. I mean, I grew up along the greats. That's why the way I speak, well, at least sing, has that natural trini twang where most soca artists of this modern era have a lot of R&B influence. I, I, um, I am born, bred, yeah. culture, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Calypsonian. Mm -hmm. Why did you ever attempt or sing, write a calypso? Yes, I yeah. am. I grew up performing calypso. Performing um, calypso. Yes, yeah, junior calypso, Monarch. Right, so you um, came through that system. Yes, I came through that system straight up until, but it was, I believe I was 15 when I no longer entered junior calypso. And well, I think by 17, I fully was stopped singing calypso. But I always participated in Exempo. I mean, I am a three time Exempo finalist. Um, I think I'm still the youngest to participate every year in um, Extempo as well? Extempo. Uh, so the Calypso Foundation is there. And there is, one day I would like to go back to Calypso because there's a need for it. It's not because the prize money is $3 million. <laughs> one day there's a need for it, but I want to go with my interpretation of it rather right. than somebody else's interpretation. Or, you know, the, the style that is dominant now right. probably won't be that. But one day, one, one day, day that's one of your goals. You're going back to the Calypso Monarch. Of course. Presenting of course. second star style of. of um, of, Nesta Boxer style, second star, whichever capacity I step right, in as. But right. at the end of the day, I will have my message, and the message for the first time must be a strong one. So right. one day that will come. No, you know I had to put you on the spot, though. Oh, but what? Extempo. Oh, my God. Can I have those, you know, and use the Extempo? Copper yeah. Joe. Copper Joe. Um, Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da
Long Island. Yes. Put Long Island iced tea. Yes. So I didn't recognize you, you could flavor oh. iced teas. Yes, you can. You can. I didn't right, know that. I didn't know that. Only I basic know. alcohol in it. Right. Right. Okay. And I'll just top off nice. instead of Coke. I'll get some passion fruit in there. Oh. Right. So, so you get your flavor. Coke. Right. Yes, it is. Look at right. me. Right. My friend, them, 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 them. Yeah. So. <laughs> you have some whiskey. Hmm. That is some gin. Tequila. There's a lot of alcohol in there, Long Island I see. How much Vodka. do I think you drink? Two? Huh? No, I drink one. one, I, am, one I, I, I want to call alcohol economical, meaning that it doesn't take a lot of money to get me high. So it's very economical. It doesn't have a bunch of weed in my pocket. Right. So that one day, and I'm good for the and night. And you're good for the night. Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> and, and, and the Long Island I see actually one of my favorites. Well. No, that's, that's yeah. my drink. That's your drink. Yeah. 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 So next time, try it with passion fruit, right? Sure, you're trying to passion fruit next time. Uh, next time, yeah. Yeah, well, next no, time you, you'll you, try you, to passion fruit. Probably excited. not, because I'm pretty sure wherever some go will be some old passion fruit. Uh, <laughs> not realistically. So I'll trust you that has an expiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah trust you yeah. <laughs> right, so good. Here. Shanice, I never some knew passion. you could have flavored longer than I see like that. Yes, you can. So you oh, let right. me know if you like that, and I'm going to make one of your favorites what, for you now. What, what are you going to make for So me? I'm going to give you I didn't even want to drink it yet. The passion mojito. The, the lychee. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I Great. just want to stay at it. You want to stay at it? Yeah, it just yeah. looks so good. Because <laughs> I need to enjoy it. how it looks. Yes. So yours is lime. All right. We have some mint in there, mm -hmm. right? We have, again, some passion fruit juice. Those are actually mint leaves. Yes, yeah, fresh mint fresh leaves. Fresh mint leaves, yeah. Right? right. Yeah. Just giving you a little model here. Right, just to get a lime flavor. This here. Then I'll top it up with some ice. What lychee that? juice. That's lychee juice. Lychee juice. Tell me about the lychee and lychee juice. <laughs> no, it's well, good. So the lychee fruit, right. what I'm going to put on top here, mm -hmm. will give you that whole nice chunky flavor. Yeah. Right? And the lychee juice is just not too sweet, not too tart. Right. So you have that nice blend in there along with the mint and the passion fruit juice to add the sweetness, right? So here you are. Thank you very much. You all can let me know if you enjoy. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. Oh this, this is one of my favorites here. Uh, I'll be trying that. Here we'll be getting my lychee mojito. It's a, it's a virgin, virgin lychee. Virgin. Virgin like light passion, mm -hmm. That just sounds good. <laughs> passion as well. Yes, passion. Virgin and passion. Well. Oh my. <laughs> that, that, that is enticing. My brother, I want to wish you all the best. Um, Thank you very as much. You, you take on the soccer industry in oh, this yes. country. I know you have a good foundation, so I just want to wish you all the best. Thank you very right, much. On behalf of the Cup of Joe team. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. All right, man. Shilis, thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right. You enjoy? That's, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Is a, is a passion Long Island ice man now? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> this one sold, sold yeah. best ever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. When the I, cameras off. I'm hoping that we can have you back at some point in time. I'm as, hoping to yeah, be here. Yeah, oh yeah. So don't, 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 don't go away and, and, and not come back. We All hope right. that you can, you can, you can come back. This is the breakout star artist for 2015, and one of our generation next artists right here on a couple of Every Thursday and Friday, you're going to present. We are going to present to you one of the Soka, Soka's generation next right here second star one of our generation next artists right here on a couple of we're taking a short break folks when we come back the fun in the kitchen joel eats up next With over 30 sensational colours, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover gives you twice the coverage, twice as fast as any other brand. For over 90 years, we've been giving people the power to change. Alright, so first off, I'm going to start with my favourite soup here, which is called the Chapino Soup. It's basically a seafood soup, but it's kicked up to levels that you won't believe. It contains mussels, squid, fish, shrimp, and it's all covered in a wonderful tomato base. And as you see, a lovely fancy bread. 
just tops it off. But the soup is so rich and flavorful, it's really amazing. I remember when I tasted it here first at Show Cafe, I went home, spent some money, bought the ingredients, and tried it at home. It didn't come out as good as Chef Khaled's own. But it's just fantastic. The flavors take you to another level. It's like, it's like a real fancy fish broth, but with a tomato base. And I think I like the tomato base. Tomatoes are one of my favorite vegetables. Um, and I really love the tomato base in conjunction with the seafood. Um, it's fantastic. I'm going to have more of this in a bit, but I need to get to one of my other favorite dishes here. Simply called a salmon spindini. Um, I believe it's the fancy phrase for salmon on a stick. Chef Khaled will explain that to me in a bit, but this is simply a salmon dish. Lovely small plate. Um, if it is you, really check the dish out. It's so flavorful, the salmon, and it's always done to perfection here at Show, Caf at Show Cafe. I just want to taste a little bit just to see. It's placed lovely on a farro salad. So it's, if, you're, if you're eating light, mm. Mm -hmm. it's one of the greatest dishes, I think, here at Show Cafe, especially during the Lenten period. Of course, today is Good Friday, and I'm keeping it seafood because during, I mean, I'm here most times, but during Lent, some of my favorite seafood dishes are right here at, at Show Cafe, uh, a salmon spindini. And to finish it off, got to get some carbs in. Um, this dish is simply divine. It's simply mushroom on toast. But it's not an ordinary mushroom on toast. The flavor in this mushroom, I can't wait to see how it comes together because the mushroom sauce is covered and covers the toast so beautifully. I don't know what they put in these mushrooms to get it like that, but we are going to find out. I'm going to take you behind the kitchen where Chef Sibran, who you just saw a short while ago, he's the mastermind behind a lot of the dishes, and he's going to show us how all these wonderful dishes come together before he reaches the table here at Show Cafe and Wine Bar. Mushroom on toast. This is simply divine. So we have invaded Chef Kyle Sibran's kitchen here at Show Cafe and Wine Bar. Chef, thank yes. you very much for having yes. us. Nice to have you here. This is where the magic happens. Yes, yes. This is where all, all that I love and eat here at Show Cafe mm -hmm. comes together. Definitely. You're going to put together my three dishes? Yes, I am. I'm going to be doing the mushroom toast, I'm going to do the salmon spudini and the chipino. How much time do you need to do that? I'm thinking at least five minutes. Five minutes yeah. to do those three dishes? Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay. Right. Cool. The, show, the, show, the show is yours now? Good. Go, go right like there. Yeah. Alright. Start Ooh. with high heat. Start with mushroom toast first. Right. Cool high heat because I'm going to sort it. And when I sort it, I'll, I'll get all the flavors and really quickly cook really fast. Right. Right. Going on. Plen right. Plenty flavor in that mushroom. Yes. Right. Onions and garlic. Mushrooms. Shit. Right. Season with salt and pepper. Magic partner. Right, find you. That's what we call flambe, right? Yep, flambe. Flambe. Add that with brandy, a little white wine. Mm. Let the alcohol burn off. Right. Oh. Next, this here is the magic. That's the magic. Crazy concoction we created. Right. right. It's a mushroom and cream ragu right, that has all the flavor. In fact, I got a Right? There's, there's straight, nothing like this layer? in the world, and this is what makes the mushroom too so fantastic. You serious? I'm telling you. Right? Black black is it? A little cream. All right. All right. Leave this here now. I'm just gonna let it simmer. While while that's happening, I'm gonna start the salmon spinning. Right? Oil the flat top. Salmon already skewered, seasoned, salt, pepper. Cool. Let that sit right there. All right. And the herb is is rosemary. Yep. Marry to another rose, rosemary, fine thyme, garlic, lime zest. Right. Good. So you see how you want the mushroom ragu is just simmering down there. I'm gonna add a little more cream. Give it a little more creamy consistency creamy, inside. Creamy texture, yeah, right. Yeah. So my salmon is getting a nice, beautiful sear on that side. While that's happening across there, I'm gonna start the chapino. Cool chapino again. Onions and garlic, slice. 
right? Once I'm going to add a arini seafood. Why do I add seafood in stages? Is it soupy already? Yeah, soupy already. Soupy already. Right? Mm -hmm. In little stages because seafood cooks at different temperatures. Right. Right? And different times. So right. I go, add some my mayo, go some shrimp in, season a little salt pepper. Right? Going down hot. The yeah, seasoning as you go along basically. Yep. Kind of looking to build, build flavor. Build you flavor. Every time. Nice, nice. What's your, what's your, yep. what's your mushroom? That's good there? Eh? Yep, that's it yeah. right there. Cool, I'm going to start adding in the mushrooms. Salmon. And for the chipino, I have a beef. Cool? This here is our, our, our chipino beef. It has um, tomatoes, there's, there's seafood stuff that's been reduced three different times. There's garlic, there's herbs. And all that flavor is inside of it. Can I taste it? Of course, definitely. Because this, this I think, is very magic in the exactly. super drawer. Right, and so to, to, give, to give the soup a little more soupy consistency, I add a little bit of shrimp stock. All right, good. A freshly made stock here. Yeah, freshly made stock mm. at Show Cafe. Everything we do here, I do from scratch. So right. I try to, as much as possible. Right, right, right. Well, so my salmon being seared nicely here. Cool, I have my shrimp in. All right, and now I'm going to finish up this soup. So we're looking to add in the squid. Cool. Well, that, that, that's dig long to cook. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this, so this, this, this here is practically done. Right. Cool because the soup is hot enough that by the time it goes to the customer, it still continues cooking all the seafood. Mm. And then it comes out at the peak, peak, peak of perfection. Right, right, right. Then, right. bam. Right. So, chopping is almost done. Get this salmon in. Hot. Open it. Finish uh, in the oven. Yep, that's gonna come out shortly because I want it to cook to medium. Right. Right. So we have our mushroom toast done. We have our chopino practically finished. Right? And now it's gonna start plating up. Alright. Cool. Oh, cool. You're plating already? Yeah, that's mm. all in here. Five minutes. Mm. Five minutes. Right. So let's start off with the salmon spadini. I'm gonna set the plate so by the time the salmon comes out, it's just to execute. Right. Cool. So we go in. Here we have our farro salad. Right. right? And has, farro, farro is. Right. Farro is, is a green. Is a green. green. Yes. Right. Um, Not a pasta green, but a, 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 a yeah. rice green. Yes. Right. Right. Have some dried tomatoes, a little scallions, right, and a little bit of herb lime vinegar. Right. Cool. We're going now. I think farro is also gluten free, based on what I understand. So, so I think that's even healthier. Exactly. Yeah, healthier. All right. So boom. Good. So I'm gonna put it aside. I'm gonna start organizing my mushroom toast plates. Right, so what I do here are some reduced balsamic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to create a little tadpoles with it. You're creating tadpoles? Yep. Oh, okay. That's a tadpole. Yeah. <laughs> right, we have our toasted brioche. Right. right. So that's why our mushroom toast is so buttery and light. Yes. Right, and of course it's toasted, so it's crisp on the outside and soft and moist on the inside. Mm. It's fantastic. It's got crustiness, yes. then a nice softness. Right, finish off a little spinach. Ooh, this fresh spinach is fresh, them fresh spinach inside it, of course. Mm -hmm. and what happens is it wilts with the heat of with the, the mushroom heat toast. Of the mushrooms, yes. Cool. So, yeah. with the mushroom toast now, I'm looking to finish it off. I'm going to add a little garlic butter. This is why it's so rich and so decadent. Because Ooh, it's, a, it's lots of garlic butter, lots of cream. Right. Cream has been reduced, it's insane. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chopped herbs. Right, we're going to start pleating now. So you see that consistency? That's what we want to want to get there. Mm -hmm. That almost stew-like, ragu-like yeah. look. That one makes it so, so wonderful. And and rich. Down. Exactly. Very, very rich. All right. Whoa. This mushroom is the best mushroom combination yeah. that I've ever tasted. I, I, and it really has to do with that little creamy mixture that said, <laughs> yes, you know how to do that? No, no, no. That, 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 you want to kill yeah, me? Exactly. <laughs> this here, a, a little truffle oil, just to garnish it up. All right. All right. And fresh herbs, and of course, pierce the resistance. A little bit of manchego crown to finish off the top of it. And that there, sir, mushroom toast. Ooh. Good, that's one. Next, yeah. we're going with the chipino. Right, so chipino, what I like to do as well, because again, it's about building flavors. Right. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic butter to, to the end of it. All right, so you see, see that the consistency we're looking for, all the, the seafood is now at its peak perfection. Right. It's delicious, it's luscious, it's thick. Oh my gosh. All right. Of course, you see, I have to move so fast because every day, busy, 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 busy at the yeah, cafe. Yeah, so yeah. so if, if, if the faster we move, the better. So you've learned to cook <laughs> these dishes in what, two, three minutes? Exactly, basically. All right. All right, let's give this a bit clean. 
All right. I'm going to add a little bit of grilled sourdough bread. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's just to finish it off, of course, on this side here. And a little chiffonade of some basil, some thyme, and some cilantro. Because we love cilantro. All right. I love cilantro. Cilantro is local herbs. Right. High flavor. Um, it's more, more, more flavorful herb I find right. in, in right. the country. Right. This here, chipino. Chipino. All right. Good. Yes. Yeah. Right now. No. Great. Yeah. And yeah. last, last but not least, we're mm -hmm. going with salmon spidini, open and hot. Watch your foot. Mm -hmm. Spidini is done. Great. And finish off with a little bit of fried capers. Sorry. A little bit of, this, this here is a sal, salmorillo sauce, which is a herb sauce with a little bit of lime juice and garlic and zest. Oh, you always have that here at the restaurant? Always have it here at the restaurant on top of our salmon spaghetti with it. Gives it that added flavor, because again, build, building on, on flavors again. Mm -hmm. Finish off with a couple of capers to the top. And that there, sir. Salmon spaghetti. Three of my favorite dishes three, here. Three dishes. At, yep. uh, three of my favorite dishes at, 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 at Show Cafe. Let me just present them here. This is the mushroom on toast, the salmon spidini, and my god, the chip in your soup. Three of my favorite dishes here at Show Cafe. Chef, Fantastic. thank you very sure. much. You were good under pressure there, You were yeah. good under pressure. Yeah, Chef, I just need to find out though. Quickly before we wrap, I'm seeing a Superman. Yes. You're a Superman fan? I'm a Superman addict. Yes. Serious. I'm telling you, my, my name comes from Superman. My parents was a upset with Superman. And my name is Kyle. Yes. And so, yeah, that, I'm, I'm hooked on him. Tell me you don't have a cape and that kind of thing. Yeah. Home. You cape, have a cape, cape and, and that cape, kind of thing. Cape and, 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 and the underwear. And the underwear as well. <laughs> yes. Chef, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Thank you, Chef sure. Kyle Sibran. Uh, of course, at the show, coffee and wine bar, where all the magic comes together. We're going to hear next from, I suppose, the brains behind this unit. Yes, I'm talking about Chef Khalid Mohammed, and he's going to introduce us to a wonderful little lady that works all the magic behind the scenes here at Show Cafe. Stay with us. We put a wrap on it after this. It's really one bank, it can depend on friendly service every day. It's really one standard of treating you like you deserve to be, yeah. Republic is only the best to you. We give personal attention, so explain for your inspection. You watch a vibe juice drinks made with natural ingredients. Just a taste for your vibe. Nestle, good food, good life. Oh, so we had fun today. First Foodie Friday of our brand new season here on A Cup of Joe. And we spent it at one of my favorite dives. Can we call it dives in Trinidad? Yeah, one of my favorite dives. Show coffee and wine bar. Um, I had my fill. We took you behind the kitchen. And now we get the opportunity to sit with, I suppose, two of the brains behind this unit, Show Coffee and Wine Bar. I'm speaking first of all, let me introduce Chef Khalid Mohammed, one of the esteemed local chefs here in TNT. And he will introduce this lady next to him as to who exactly she is. Her name is Alison Mayer. But let me say, every time I, I come to Show Cafe, she makes sure that everything I need, I have. So from that perspective, I can tell you that she's a very, very handy lady to have around. <laughs> <laughs> nice Thank you guys you. for welcoming us into your place and having us this Friday morning. Thank you. Yes. Chef. Welcome. Let me, let, me, let me first of all get from you. Um, Show Coffee and Wine Bar came after Show the Restaurant. Yes, it did. Tell me about the transition when you opened Show the Restaurant and, and what led to Show Coffee and Wine Bar. Well, when I opened Show, Show was really just a fine dining restaurant. Right. And then at that point, I wanted to do something a little different, something like uh, what well, Alison and I were want, wanted to do, like a coffee shop. Right. So that was the first thing, just a coffee shop. 
it wasn't going to be this whole wine bar. And then we, we started doing show cafe. And at first, we thought we were going to do sandwiches, salads, pastas, coffee. And then we decided we were going to do a wine bar at night with a small plate type of menu. Right. So it was two separate ideas, basically. Not really, but the, the, the coffee shop came first. The coffee right. shop, salad, sandwiches, what we do for lunch here, right. that came first, and the wine bar came, came after. Came after, right. When, when we came here and we saw, well, we, we have to do something at night, right. that's, what, that's where we decided to go. Tell, tell people what Alison's role here at that at, at show. Well, Alison, Alison's been my friend for a while, right. and, then, and we opened Show Cafe together, and mm -hmm. she's, she's my business partner. Right. And she literally is the chief cook and bottle washer here at Show Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> Everything but the cook. Everything but the cook. <laughs> Alison, what has been the experience like here at Show Cafe? Because I think this, this is pretty new. I mean, uh, and, and new in terms of trying to bagel. It, it, it's, it's restaurants that you will see when you travel abroad and so on. But you know, trying to bagel, I think this was new. It was fresh. Um, and and, and what, what has been your experience with customers coming in and experiencing what you guys do here at Show Cafe? Well, you know, as Khaled just said, we really. Our first thing was a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize we would mushroom into mushroom yes. into this, and we mushroomed pretty first. Mm -hmm. um, the genesis of it was we really wanted a place where we would want to eat. Right. And it's, that's why you just said it's different. It's yeah. a bit at the time that we opened, it was a bit of a niche. Mm -hmm. You know, it was somewhere you can come casually, eat, enjoy, drink. The place you kind of wanted mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been three and a half, almost four years. Wow, so much time flying there. So much time, mm -hmm. and you've been here from day one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it's, super, it's just blown our minds, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, totally yeah, yeah. blown our yeah. minds. Mm -hmm. The reception, our customers, how yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels like, as you just said, it's somewhere, a place where they could just come every single day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know, I mean, Chef, based on your experience, why do you think this would in, in, in our market, because our market, I think, is a little different. I think at the time Show Cafe opened, there was, there was, there was nobody else was doing yeah. this sort of restaurant. There was mm -hmm. no small plate restaurant, you know, in Trinidad. Yeah. And it just, so all we were accustomed to before this were just going to restaurants. Right. Now you could just go to a restaurant, sit outside, outdoors, yeah. have a bunch of small plates, wine, wine coffee. Yeah. Prosecco, champagne, whatever. And nowhere else offers it. It's, no. it's somewhere that... I feel to go to mm -hmm. when I don't want a sit-down dinner with with all fine that goes, dining, the fine dining, all that goes yeah, with that, yeah, you know. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's uh, and it's and and to me that's why. Plus, we're in we're in one little place. It's safe. It's secure. Yeah. Parking is good, and we have, there's so much other you know, reasons yeah, why yeah. why mm -hmm. why you know show cafe is when I want to pick your brain one more time before I run out of time with yeah. regards to one of your other restaurants that was attached to the show brand, right? Um, uh, show Creole. You, 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 you had, you, you closed it down. Right. Show Creole was showcasing our food. Creole food, yes. Creole food. Local food, Local yeah. food. Did it work? Did it not work? Well, obviously it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> um, no, it, it, it didn't work, you know. I, I don't think Trinidadians were, were... Appreciative? I wouldn't say appreciative, but they didn't think of Creole food as somewhere to go for dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine dining. Fine, that's dining, that's fine, that's dining. fine dining. Do you yeah. guys still feel that is the case? In other words, we, so we can't have a local fine dining restaurant showcasing our food? I think everything is an evolution. Yeah. You know, I mean, 15 years ago, you could count the number of restaurants on your hands. Yeah. Come forward to 20, 15, and you can see mm. what the landscape is. So yeah. I think cuisine, Restaurants, everything is an evolution. So we'll we we'll get there one of these Yeah, back there very soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I like the optimism, <laughs> chef. Uh, I quickly want a few other things that I, I ate today. Right. Give me a breakdown uh, because we just saw it come together in the kitchen. Right. Um, the the, the I, I I made the chipino soup home, you know. I went home and I I made it I made it home. Um, right. It didn't come out as, as fantastic, but I think that <laughs> my, my wife ate it, so which means. It's, it was edible, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 the, the chip in your soup, the mm. mushroom on toast, um, and then the the spadini. spadini. Tell me about those three dishes. But those are three of my favorites. Well, the spadini was just to have a, a, a fish dish on the menu. Right. Whatever fish dish menu. Spadini is skewered. You mm -hmm. can skewer it with a stick. You can also skewer it with 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 a herb like rosemary or right, something. Right, right, right. And um, it just offers a nice, as you said, a nice light 
dish, small mm -hmm. plate on, on the menu. Plus, mm -hmm. it, so with like a farro salad with sun dried tomato, so it's right. light, it's, it's healthy as well. Yeah, yeah, and, but, and, and the soup. That, that soup is a fun. That soup is a, is a standard soup of Curzy Wood, the international soup. It's actually from San Francisco. It's okay. Italian American. Right. And um, and the, the, the bread it was sourdough, like it's a San Francisco right. type sourdough bread. Right, right. So right. it is it is it is from, from America. And what do you do with those mushrooms on those on that toast? What what oh, I mean that that's a secret word. Can't reveal everything. That's why you keep coming back. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you very, very much for having us. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, as I said, I, I will, of course, be here probably next week. Can't wait. <laughs> can't wait? <laughs> when I, I can eat some meat. I, when I can eat some meat. <laughs> when I can eat some meat. Yeah. Um, I, I want Chef to quickly shoot some quick questions with you. Uh, we just have time for a couple of questions that we want to get Chef. We want to pick Chef's foodie brain a little. Right. Uh, so this is for Chef Khaled Bobby. What three ingredients, Chef, you always have in your refrigerator? At home, are talking about it. Oh, at home. At home. <laughs> Gosh. Well, onions, garlic, herbs. Can I, can I generalize it? Herbs? Yeah, or should yeah, I yeah. Specific. What, right. what, what herb do? What herb? I guess my favorite is thyme, probably. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. What's 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 the first meal you could remember that you ever cooked, ever tried to cook? Was the first dish you ever mm. tried to cook? I think I made corned beef burgers once. Corned beef burgers. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. A, it was a recipe on the um on the on the can. Yeah. Yeah. And you and you made it. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> and it's something like I could cook. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's what what's your favorite your favorite dish to cook now? If, if when you're home and you're relaxing, what's your favorite dish you, you like to cook at home? Well I guess I mean I would say what I cook the most at home is pasta because it's easy right. and it's quick. I can right. put it together in twenty minutes. Right. So I cook that most often. Right. Um Pasta, any, yeah. any type of pasta. Any, any yeah, because you, know, you, you just throw it together. What's, right. what, what, what's available? Right. Your favorite junk food or comfort food that you go to? I saw you coming out of La Cantina Pizza the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you. I said, yeah. "What's your car and buy pizza?" <laughs> well, probably doubles though. Doubles. I love doubles. I, do, I, thought, I eat lots of doubles. Great bicycle, like you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you go to doubles quickly, yeah, most time. All the time. All yeah. the time. After All the service time. in the morning. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Oh, the most unusual thing you've ever eaten. Unusual. Hmm. Wow, I've eaten a lot of unusual yeah, things. Yeah, I would imagine. What's the most unusual thing? I think of anything. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> live octopus. Live octopus, yeah. Live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Live still. as in alive? <coughs> as in still moving. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. why, why did that? <laughs> <laughs> this time I've said that, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> see that's, yeah. I've never heard that. Okay, live octopus. Ooh, you see, that's very unusual, chef. Mm -hmm. um, a, a food that you absolutely dislike. You can't eat it. can't go down. Any? any? I used to not like grapefruit, mm -hmm. but I like it now. So there's nothing I, I don't like you anymore. You every and anything? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. yeah. If you were not a chef, what would you be doing now? Lord, I have no idea. Yeah. That is something. That is really... Maybe a professional football player. Ah, <laughs> with Manchester United. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you very much, Chef. Thanks a lot. Uh, we're going to have a wrap on it at this time because we're running out of time here on this Friday morning. Uh, if you want to, of course, be part of our show, you can feel free to just drop us an email on acupofjoett at gmail.com. You can follow us, of course, on all our social media platforms. Just search Cup of Joe TT, Facebook, Twitter, IG, Instagram, that is, yeah, for those of you. <laughs> we don't know what that is. I looked at what it was the other day. Um, so you can follow us on all, 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 all our social media platforms. Folks, whatever you do, whatever's in your cup, enjoy. We will see you back here next week. Brand new week of Cup of Joe on Monday. Weekdays every morning at 10 o'clock right here on CCN TV 6. I'm Joel Villafana. Have a good weekend, TNT.